in 2019 till mid august oracle added five new region in gentoo cloud that's oci and lot more are in pipeline this means you now have total nine regions four with three availability domain while five with single availability domain what is a region and availability domain how do you subscribe to a region and then how do you create a machine or database in this region or select a specific availability domain i'm going to cover all this in today's episode welcome to episode 26 of weekly video series with me atul kumar from team k20 academy where we help you in your journey to oracle cloud and transition you from a beginner to expert in oracle cloud so if you look at our blog where you will find out the latest information about a region that's k20academy.com forward slash oci 27 you will see that on august 2nd oracle added a new region in their gen2 cloud that's oci in zurich in switzerland then in july 26th they've added mumbai in india similarly on may they've added in south korea new region in 30th of april they added tokyo in japan and on january 17th they added canada or toronto in canada so now first let's look at what is this a region now region is a geographical location hosting the oracle cloud data center and within that region you can have up to three availability domain so availability domain are one or more data centers located within a region so take an example you have a region in phoenix in us so within that phoenix region you have three data centers marked as availability domain one two or three so now one thing to note here is that the recent ones which are added recently those regions have single availability domain while the older ones have three availability domains now within these regions there is a commercial region and there's a government region so now as name suggests commercial regions are available for any type of customer whereas government cloud is reserved for the government organizations now with respect to regions as of 15th of august 2019 oracle has these nine regions in total out of these first four have three availability domain while the latest five being added in 2019 they all have single availability domain now when a new region is being added in oracle cloud your cloud users can't use this new re region unless your administrator goes and subscribe to these regions so this is how screen look like you have to spe specifically go to that particular specific region and subscribe to this region let me go on to oracle cloud and show it to you now in oci console you click on this up hamburger menu and you go down and look at administration inside that tenancy detail now scroll down at the bottom and under regions subsection here you will see all the reasons that you are subscribed now if you have not subscribed to a specific region you will see a button here like subscribe now so a button like this which says subscribe to this region now in my case i've already subscribed to all the reasons that's why i don't see that subscribe to this region button now once you have subscribed to a specific region when you're provisioning any resource and what i mean by resource is any machine or a databases then in that case you will go and from this drop down you will select a specific region in which you want to create that resource like that machine or database so in my case let's suppose i select a london and now i'm creating a database and this database will be then created in london region and similarly if i select a region as india then i'll be creating that particular region in mumbai india now next is to show you how do you select a particular availability domain i mentioned about availability domain which is three or up to three data centers inside a region so when i create a database for example or create a machine so i select a specific compartment and name of this db system and depending on my region now i'm selecting the availability domain in which i'm creating this database or machine so uh, because i've selected mumbai there's only one availability domain in this mumbai but if i select london and if i have to create this db now you notice that the london region has three availability domain so then you need to select within which availability domain you want to place this uh, database now when you're defining the high availability you have to make sure that you have a particular component like database or machine 
or a block storage in another availability domain as well for high availability. So to recap, region is a geographical location hosting the Oracle Cloud Data Center. And within that region, you can have up to three data centers interconnected by high bandwidth, low latency network pipe. Now, these are the regions which are currently available and more are in pipeline in 2019 and then 2020. As of today, August 2019, you have four regions which are with three availability domain while five with single availability domain. Before your users can use that particular region, your administrator will have to go and subscribe to that region. And then when you're provisioning a resource like database or machine or a load balancer, you select the appropriate region and then if required, select the appropriate availability domain and then you're creating that resource in that particular availability domain inside a region. Now, if you're new to Oracle's Gen2 Cloud or already working and would like to see how much you know in Oracle Cloud, I highly recommend you to go through this quiz at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI quiz. That's OCI quiz. Now go to this page, click on start the quiz now. And now there are 10 questions that should not take more than 15 minutes. So answer these questions and see if you, how many you get right. This will give you an idea on how much you already know and what more you need to learn. And now if you're managing a team of Oracle consultants like me, then it's worth asking your team to see where do they stand currently and how much more they need to learn in Oracle's Gen2 Cloud, that's OCI. Now to be transparent, first time I took this test back in early 2018, I only managed to get four answers right. So let's see if you can beat me. Now share what result you get here in the comment. And it's totally okay if you get low score like me when I was starting out. Trust me, you'll discover a lot out of this quiz. Now at end of this name, enter your name, email address and phone number and it will give you how much you've scored. Now at the end, this result will also be emailed to your inbox and you will also have explanation of all the questions that we have covered in this quiz. So go and check out this quiz at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI quiz. That's it from me today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and email notifications at ketoneacademy.com forward slash subscribe. I'll see you next week with another episode on Oracle Cloud.